Okay, we've got an interesting topic today. The, the title is The Unseen Therapist Brings About a Beneficial Breathing Rhythm. Okay, we're going to talk about that. And more. There's a lot of things Unseen Therapist does that is sort of like customized to the individual sometimes. It doesn't happen with everybody, but we're going to talk about that. And to assist me here, to assist us here today is Gabrielle Rutan, MD. She's the director of our uh, Gary Craig Official EFT Training Center in the Dutch language. And as you will see, speaks very good, very good English. So, well, anyway, say hello, Gabrielle. Hello, everybody. Okay. Now, I want to, this is an email that was sent to me. Okay. So I, I want to read this to sort of kick, our, kick off our, our topic here. She says, hi, Gary. When I first started to work with Optimal EFT, that's the unseen therapist, I was doing it in the early morning lying in bed. I imagined the particular traumatic event and almost immediately after inviting the unseen therapist, my body was taken over. That's a good phrase. My body was taken over over by a breathing rhythm it was involuntary and took over completely now she goes on to describe it as a as a form of uh, she, she equated it to a, a, yo, a yoga exercise where you were you would breathe in and then you would breathe out twice as long okay although that wasn't necessarily exactly how this was going it was a it was like her breathing like unseen therapist was now taking over her breathing and doing it in this unusual way. Now, to me, let's get your comment on this, Gabrielle. To me, that's another example of how unseen therapists, not always, but often enough, um, customizes the healing process to the individual. Comment on yes. that, could you? Yeah, yes, I agree. I agree. Because the way she describes it, she says, uh, was taken over in the sense that as if the breathing was done for her, she didn't have she wasn't consciously thinking about what she was doing, but it was happening to her. And so and breathing out a long, long, long out breath really indicates that relaxation is is, uh, is ongoing because when you are thinking about something traumatic the stress response gets activated you usually have high you know high breathing and it's constricted and, and what have you so if this was part of the exercise or the meditation it's an exercise to completely relax so yeah. i agree it's it's well it's beneficial yeah Interestingly enough, she doesn't talk. I mean, the, the email went on. I just didn't read it at all. But she doesn't talk in it as though this was a frightening thing. No. Oh, it, was, it was like, this was fine. Oh, please do. It's like, I want this. I feel it's a, like a healing thing. Yes. These aren't her exact words, but that's the context in which it's put forward. And that would seem to fit, does it not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would like to point out that if you're, you know, meditating and you get this urge to move or breathing in this case, go with the flow, do it because and, and you'll notice because it's not frightening and it, it's when it's happening, you're guided to do this or your body is guided, however you want to see that because there's, you know, besides breathing, there's other uh, movements have been reported. I just recently um had somebody who during the meditation we were sitting during the meditation would start to go like this and it was you know when i asked uh, afterwards i asked and it was really pleasant and it sort of eased whatever was you know she had a backache and she needed that for some reason and it wasn't something she thought up you know it wasn't by her choice but it she, she just really felt and i encouraged her if there's anything you know, if you feel like moving, just move. That's yeah. another example, I think. Well, I can recall, I can recall along that line, I can recall a handful of cases, 
This is not everybody by any means. And one really exaggerated I'll talk about here in a moment, where the client, when undergoing a personal peace procedure process with the unseen therapist, okay, would do what you were talking about, something like, something like this, very pleasant kind of thing, but I've even seen it more exaggerated. I, I've seen it like, you know, going like this. Ah. Okay. And I, yeah. a, I asked afterwards about that. And as we discussed that, I was, they were telling me they could stop it if they wanted to. The client could, I don't want to do that. Okay. But it was just like it was necessary or important, or it was like a massage you were getting or something, something like that. It was just part of the, part of the healing. And it yes, wasn't yes. the kind of a, oh, oh, what's happening to me? No, it was, oh, isn't that no. nice kind of thing. It's, it's gentle and it's peaceful. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Now, yes. I want to talk about this one other one. Uh, and I've got a video on this, but the, the fellow involved is a bit shy and he doesn't want the video shown. But um, one of our practitioners, this is Australia or New Zealand, that area oh. of the world had a client he was about 230 pounds which in um what is that uh, about a hundred and what is that i'm trying to think of what that is in kilos do you know what that is in kilos about half about half okay half yeah. okay but anyway he was lying on a like a massage table and and he, I remember he had his trousers on, but he was, he didn't have anything out from the waist up. And so he was just, he was just lying there. And the therapist thought to turn on a camera. Okay. And he was, he was lying there and it was like somebody, somebody strong was picking him up and turning him over. I mean, this was a heavy a heavy man, all right, uh, and but there were no hands in sight. The therapist was a a female, but she didn't have, even have her hands on him, and that was astonishing to me because uh, you know. But but he was turned over and <laughs> turned over, and it was it was like it was the necessary part of the healing going on. Now that's an exaggerated example. That's the only one of those I've ever seen. All right, uh, that doesn't mean there aren't more examples happening, but that's the only one I've seen or know about. So anyway, these things happen. Uh, uh, you know, it's just, I mean, that's our major message here. Do you have anything else you want to add to that? No, just to reassure people that uh, if it happens, just, you know, go along with it. Y you'll notice because, you, you know, it'll feel gentle and you'll f still feel at peace and all that. And so, um, don't fight it, is, is what I'm trying right. to say. Just go along. Well, good. That's our message for today. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you use it. We'll see you next time.